All right, what is happening, peeps? It's Troy D. Woo we got something going on right now that, I mean, now on the day of this release, it's like the, the, the stipulations are just crazy at this point. I mean, there's some breaking news. I'm going to tell you about this fragrance. I don't know if you already know, but if you watch this video, you will know what's going on. But this is the newest release, 2020 release for spring summer from Parfums de Marly. This is Sutton. Sutton. Okay. Green bottle in the same uh, sort of model as Sedley. Transparent bottle. Parfums de Marly. Now this one here is uh, New York based. Sutton is actually place, a place in New York or an area in New York. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. It's based out of there. And we will talk about this fragrance. We will talk about the performance because I know some of our viewers are all about that performance. We're going to talk about the performance. And I will talk about this in regards to different collector groups or, or um, you could say kind of like where you're at in your collecting. I'm going to talk about that. So hang on tight. We're going to go hit the music. Okay, we are back. Parfums de Marly, Sutton. Wow. This one right here, I mean, I've had my eyes on this because I've generally been very happy with the Parfums de Marly brand. It is something that, well, almost every release they have, even the Leighton Exclusive, which I haven't really reviewed, but I've been trying on. I love it, okay? And uh, Sedley was my last review from Parfums de Marly. Some people were kind of butthurt about that because I did talk about the performance. I did talk about how the scent was really great, but in the end, uh, it, it, it died too quickly for me or it's, it was too like low-key. So, you know, I'm going to talk about this. I know a lot of listeners out here are either PDM diehards and then there's the casual people. They're just, you know, think of buying just something for the spring and summer. And then I know I got my niche heads who are like, you know, collecting all this like expensive stuff and they're like well what does this have to do with my collection okay so we're gonna try to break that down today but let's talk about Sutton real quick so this is the 125 ml bottle okay uh comes with this uh beautiful uh green almost almost tiffany looking box right almost tiffany colored box now one thing i'm going to share is my amazing uh retail experience you know, I mean, I love the discounters. I love the gray market, but I also love how the retail uh, experience is great. How the main company also uh, does their job into making sure you're a happy consumer. And for me, uh, the first thing that I got from Parfums de Marly is a bunch of samples. So, yay, we got um, a bunch of samples right here of Pegasus, Herod, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna review these eventually. The stuff that I don't um, have out here: Pegasus, Herod. Uh, you got Sedley over here. But here's the dopest part. <laughs> Where are you gonna get this, guys? A Parfums de Marly. Yeah, Parfums de Marly wallet. No joke, Parfums de Marly wallet. Holy smokes! Look at this. Yeah, there it is. And here is the Parfums de Marly card holder. Check that out. Leather card holder. That's really great, guys. The, like This is like merch for perfume lovers. So thanks to Parfums de Marly, especially uh, Donna, who helped me out. She was such an amazing person, and I enjoyed all our conversations. I'm not a paid reviewer, by the way. Hopefully one day, that would be great. <laughs> but uh, thank you to Donna for such amazing customer service work on Sutton, okay? Now, let's talk about this. This is so interesting. If you go look at Sutton right now on the website, you're not going to find it. There's no Sutton on the website. There used to be, right? So word is, 
and I'm not 100%, this is just the word on the streets, is that these things are getting recalled. Okay? Orders are getting recalled. Why? Because of the name. If you guys are fragheads and you guys know about uh, perfumes that are on the mainstream side, you guys know about band number nine, right? So I heard that there was like a, you could say like a copyright or a trademark thing, and this wasn't allowed. So they're recalling everything. The whole thing is out of the site. It's not there. We don't know when this is coming back. So that makes this an extremely rare juice at this point because we don't know what's going to happen. Rebranding, reboxing. I hope they just rebox this. That's fine, you know. But um, I'm pretty sure it'll end up on the website again, maybe in a different name, okay? Now, Sutton here, what can I say? I think, to me, right, again, I'm going to speak in different perspectives here. If you are looking for a great smelling, great performing fragrance for spring and summer this is definitely it a okay so what the why is that because this one has all the wonderful notes that you can think of but it's not like a played out scent you could say it smells familiar maybe but it's familiar but it's still not like a played out scent this one here has sicilian bergamot mandarin green apple and cashmere wood okay so basically guys you know mandarin green apple stands out it is already citrusy on its own but the mandarin and the green apple specifically if you guys love green apple and i know you guys do green apple stands out here mandarin stands out here there's a cashmere cashmere wood that uh if you're not familiar with that basically i've had some cashmere heavy scents and when you do too much of it it leans too masculine to the point of like it loses its appeal but this one here the cashmere the cashmere wood is blended in so great that it is just providing a slight masculine tone to curb it to curb just the citric because if it's all citric and all mandarin and all um apple you know it will become too citric fruity right but the cashmere wood De it, what it does it, it definitely curves it to the masculine side just to remind everybody and the person wearing this that you are wearing a masculine perfume or cologne now it has cedar wood which is wonderful it has petty grain which is sort of like a neroli blast in a way and the violet here is definitely pronounced you can really smell the violet here pomerose uh, is listed on the notes and what it is basically is is kind of like a fruity rose okay do i smell it somehow yes uh after the the orangey citrusy um intro uh with the green apple you know the next fight the, the next part right here on the mid notes you can really uh smell this part which is really really wonderful it's sort of like a fruity rose type fragrance this pomerose and then the violet is out there and then that neroli type blast from the petty grain wonderful wonderful stuff okay i can't say nothing okay now the reason why i said performance why because i guess they listened on the sedley videos because this one performs like awesome okay the uh projection of this one is crazy good blasts hard and is long lasting i can tell you that right it's been like i basically the moment i got it in the mail i was like bah, 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 i fired it over <laughs> and the whole day basically the whole day plus plus you know you can say eight hours nine hours that i was out looking for a printer it was with me projecting hard projecting nicely i can't say nothing you know so really the ones that are looking for a great smelling, great performing uh, perfume, and I know that's a lot of you guys, right there, okay? And if you like those like Neroli-ish fragrances, I think you're going to you're gonna appreciate the mid part of this one right here. I do because I love Neo. I love YSL Trench. So um, I'm really feeling that here. I really like it. Now, the dry down here is basically oak moss, musk, and amber. Musk and amber man i mean how many perfumes have i reviewed that has musk and amber 
right? That, that is really amazing. A lot. Uh, but this one also has an oak moss. I guess cause that's why because it's kind of green. It has that oak moss in the end, uh, which, you know, makes it smell green. Uh, it, it's a... I, I can't say it's a dry fragrance it's just it's it's green and I would say it's clean now it does retain the parfums de Marly uh, sort of like DNA because it has like almost like a spice in it and, and I'm thinking that that's the Kashmiran just that ex, just that exact Kashmiran that they needed to almost create that spice type smell you know that you know it's parfums de Marly you know what I'm saying the woody notes uh, and the cashmeran maybe creates that. But um, ultimately, you know, you are going to get a green apple, citrusy, strong blaster with that violet. You know, it's got the violet. It's got uh, the cashmeran makes it a little bit manly. It's great. I mean, I can't say nothing. Actually, right now, as I'm sniffing this dry down, it's like, wow, super nice. I mean, musk and oak moss and amber sick sick can't go wrong okay but this one like i said the difference between this and sedley is the performance it's the performance for sure this one blasts large stays long um and is a very pleasing scent i think that this one here will garner you compliments at work or any type of situation rather uh because it is um a brightening you know, it's like a brightening scent. It brightens up people around you. You know, people might have a bad day. I don't know. Today, when I was just like driving around, I felt like a lot of people around are having a bad day. And I know it's sad. It's because of everything that's going on. But a lot of people around me, I felt like had a bad day. You know, whether they're at the at the Best Buy or the 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 taco stand. But they, a lot of people, I feel like I'm just vibing it. They're not having, you know, a happy time. Um, and of course, we, we all know why. This one will probably change their mood you know or if you are feeling down this one will pretty much change your mood it's it's very uplifting but at the same time also stresses the gentleman like this i'm a gent i'm a man it stresses that part because it doesn't go full on apple fruity it could have just done that you know apple fruity uplifting all the way but there's that curve like i said with the uh, cashmere wood, cedar wood, pomerose, and then lovely dry down with the oak moss. It guarantees that this is a man scent, a manly scent. You know what I mean? But uplifting makes you happy. It's pretty damn cool. Okay? So uh, hopefully I answered all those questions. Now for those guys that are collectors, I'm talking about you guys are collecting because it's rare, you're collecting because it's expensive, yada, yada, yada. Um, this fits in as an easy grab, okay? Easy grab that you can get, you can use. Um, you if you've tried so many perfumes, I mean, you might think upon first impressions that oh, I've smelled this before, right? But it's just because of certain notes that you already love. But I think that just on its own, like I said, this is an instant grab. I mean, I'm so happy because I, I get to wear this all the summer. It's hot outside. I wore it at like 100 degrees. It's like perfect, yo. It was like blasting, nice, fresh, clean. There's nothing else I can say. It's wonderful. Is it worth 300 bucks? Yeah, just get the, get the big bottle, guys. Okay? So, like I said, I mean, right now, I don't see it available on the site. I'm sure Parfums de Marley is going to do something to where, you know, they're going to, like, rename this or something. But as of right now, this is called Sutton. And uh, this was already, you know, split on our page. So, it's not like I, I, I can do more. Okay? So, whoever joined this split and was really, really quick on the draw on our page... You got it. You guys got the rare juice. Okay, so make sure you follow my Instagram. And when I launch something, make sure you grab it while you can because it's all limited. Okay, so that's it. That's my review on Sutton. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you're a new subscriber, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to have you with us. Okay, so until then, this is Troy D. Take care, guys, and have a great day.